Now, this is the first time that Catherine Pugh has been seen publicly, or at least by television cameras or news cameras, since March when she held that news conference when she was still mayor to talk about her healthy Holly book deal. She resigned, of course, as mayor in early May. And then um, just Wednesday, yesterday, the 11-count indictment against her on federal fraud and tax evasion charges was, um, was announced, unsealed and announced. This hearing that starts at 1 o'clock is both uh, an initial appearance on those charges and an arraignment. And sources do tell us she has signed a plea agreement in which she will plead guilty to at least some of the 11 counts in that indictment. Now, this is what has to happen in that case. In any plea case, in any time a defendant wants to enter a plea of guilty, they do that at the beginning of the hearing, and then the judge will go through a series of questions and other procedures to make absolutely sure that a defendant who wants to enter a guilty plea is doing it voluntarily. And uh, several lawyers have told me the judge in particular who is handling this matter this afternoon is what they describe as a real stickler to make sure all of those steps are taken. So this could be not a brief hearing, but a rather lengthy one. Again, that hearing will start at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Catherine Pugh did arrive here with her lawyers uh, about 45 minutes ago. I will say it's the first time uh, that I can recall, having covered federal court for many years, that I've seen a defendant arrive at the front door um, as a private citizen, not in custody. Um, her lawyer was able to drive up almost to the to the, to the curb right at the front door of the federal courthouse. So she only had a couple of yards to cover before getting into inside the courthouse. So again, that happened about 45 minutes ago. She had to be processed by the U.S. Marshal. And then this hearing will begin in about an hour. We'll have much more coverage later on 11 News 5 and 6 for now. I'm Jane Miller reporting live from the federal courthouse. Back to you, Theo. Breaking news, former Mayor Catherine Pugh pleads guilty to several of the charges against her. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Pugh will remain free until her sentencing in February. Now, the charges she pled guilty to could carry a maximum sentence of up to 35 years in prison. WJZ investigator Mike Kelvin is live at Federal Courthouse downtown with the details on her plea and reaction. Mike. Vic and Denise, it's all up to the judge what she ultimately gets in February. Pew said she's on medication for anxiety and she was anxious today, but she had nothing to say to her constituents upon leaving the courthouse. Do you have anything to say to the citizens of Baltimore, Mayor Pugh? Anything to say, Mayor Pugh? Disgraced former Baltimore City Mayor Catherine Pugh pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud, conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government, and tax evasion, four of the 11 counts against her as part of a deal with federal prosecutors. She admitted to a scheme to get hundreds of thousands of dollars using sales of her children's book series, Healthy Holly. Pew admitted receiving money from the University of Maryland medical system for books that were later donated to Baltimore City Schools. Then she resold those books to other organizations and pocketed the money to pay for her mayoral campaign and a new house. Pew listened quietly in court as the charges were read. She answered with just a few words, sometimes speaking so softly, the judge had to ask her to repeat herself. U.S. Attorney Rob Herr. She betrayed the trust placed in her by the public. The city of Baltimore faces many pressing issues, and we need dedication and professionalism from our leaders, not fraud and corruption, if we have any hope of fixing these problems. Law enforcement will continue to be vigilant for evidence of fraud and corruption to ensure that the people of Baltimore and the people of Maryland receive the honesty and the integrity in their public officials that they deserve. And one of the more stunning details from the courtroom today, Pew admitted to accepting a $100,000 check from a local businessman so that she could buy a new house because she wanted to entertain when she became mayor. Again, she is sentenced, scheduled to be sentenced in February. Her lawyer also had no comment today. Reporting live from the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ. With 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring in North Baltimore. And Vanessa, you spoke with some people who say they are very disappointed in the former mayor's actions. 
As several of Catherine Pugh's former colleagues, including Mayor Jack Young, say they are disappointed in her, and some city residents are expressing that as well. Voters elected Catherine Pugh to serve on Baltimore City Council in the General Assembly and, of course, as the city's 50th mayor. In May, Pugh resigned as mayor after taking a leave of absence for health reasons amid scrutiny over her children's books. Reacting to news of Pugh's indictment, Governor Larry Hogan said the people of Baltimore and all Marylanders should be able to have confidence in the honesty and character of the people they elect to office. It is completely unacceptable any time a public official violates the public trust, end quote. Some city residents say the allegations against Pew are disheartening. Everybody honest until you really get to know them, you know what I'm saying? So knew she wasn't really being honest about what she was going to do or what she was going to change because she didn't change anything. We just had a mayor do this before, like something similar, and now we have another mayor doing this again. So, yeah, that's what I was mostly surprised about. Pew has not made any public statements since before she took that leave of absence in April. We're live tonight in North Baltimore. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Well, today, WJZ spoke with people living in the city about former Mayor Pugh's guilty plea and the impact the corruption scandal has had on Baltimore. It's not something that's just given up front. You need to gain the people's trust because you're in such a place of power, you can't expect it to be given. Uh, I feel like the people who still had trust, I personally don't put a lot of stock in what people in high places of power say because absolute power corrupts absolutely. She knew what she was doing and she didn't think she was going to get caught doing it. We voted for her because we trusted her and we didn't believe she would do that. She didn't even seem to be that kind of person, but I guess you never can tell.